is Wade. And I'm Adam Navis. And welcome to our real conversation about our Spotlight English programs. Uh, today, we are discussing our third program in our 10 program series called 10 Ways to Fight Hate, Support the Victims. And of course, uh, this series, these 10 ways to fight hate do come from the Southern Poverty Law Center in the United States. And they've made this list of 10 ways to fight hate in your community. And uh, we really hope that going through this series of programs is helpful to you, uh, not only as just a sort of worldview, but also as um, a way for you to take actual steps in your community to make it better. And so, of course, Adam, we yeah. have these 10 programs, and this is the third one. Right. And this, But uh, do you remember the first oh. two ways to fight hate in your community? I believe, if I come up with one, I'll be good. I think it's either ACT is the first one. ACT is the first one, yes. So the first way to fight hate in your community is to ACT. And um, really, it just means when you see a hate crime in your community, you may want to just be quiet and keep to yourself and just ignore it and it will go away. It maybe doesn't affect you. Uh, but You might not really, even be sure it is a hate crime. Yeah, <clears throat> and right, exactly. Um, so what you want to do is uh, act in some way, whether it's uh, speaking out, whether it's helping the person, right. um, because you are not the only person who has um, experienced that hate crime, who has... Um, yeah, who is in that community, yeah. all of those things, right? So making your community better. Now, do you remember the second one? Um, is it listen? Something about listening? Uh, no. I'm actually forgetting it right now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I really need you to tell me. No, okay. Uh, now I'm so embarrassed that I couldn't think of the second one. I, I had it in my head just a second ago. Yeah. Join forces! Yeah, yeah join course. forces. You got it. it. It's the um, it's the program with uh the Muslim shopkeepers, yes. right? Or shopkeeper who uh, opened up and showed love right. to his community. Um, joining forces with the community, right? Yes, okay. Yes, yes. Oh, sheesh. Okay. And so, uh, yeah, check out those programs. Yeah. And there is a playlist so that you can always follow along. Uh, whenever there is a new program in this series. And of course, this one, now I know this one, is uh, support the victims. So whenever there's a hate crime, there right. is a victim, right? right. Um, if somebody is attacking another person because of who they are, that's a hate crime, whether right. they are um, a different skin color, whether they're gay or um, just because of who that person is, Right. Um, there may be a religious intolerance. Yeah, religion, <clears throat> whether which religion they are. Mm -hmm. um, that is that person is a victim, right? They've had mm -hmm. a crime done against them, and so this program really specifically looks at ways that you can support your community and the victims in right. your community of hate crimes, even if it's like. Um, you know, if you if somebody scroll uh, does graffiti right on a yeah. side of a building, yeah. that's still a victim. <clears throat> the owners yeah. of that building are a victim. Um, really, anybody walking by there, that's right. You no, know, want to see hate in your everyday. Well, and one of the things that um, I have been thinking about a lot over the last year or two is that I can support the people around me even if I don't agree with them on every single issue, mm. even if I don't agree with them on politics or what we should do with our neighborhood, when it comes, there are certain lines when it comes to hate crimes that you just, you need to say, you know what, we are all people and right. there are some basic human rights that we all have and to feel safe and protected is one of those rights. Right. So you're saying that like, um, even if you weren't the same religion, you can still support the victims of somebody who, or the victim uh, who right. is maybe a different religion than you. You don't need to be in that immediate circle of the community to be I supportive feel like of that. even if the person, even if the person would hate me, yeah. you know, like if they're my, 
I'm That's gonna, really hard. I'm going to use air quotes here to say enemy um, in whatever. They could be, I mean, to, to, to if they're, maybe they support a rival sports team. Maybe yeah. they live in a country that my country's treating poorly or whatever. That yeah. all around the world, there are some basic human rights and mm -hmm. that we need to support each other. And that needs yeah. to be the floor under which we have these conversations. We we should never go to people and say, well, you're my enemy, so I can let you, uh, I don't have to support you, right? Even, especially if you're the victim of a, of a hate crime. Right. Well, because of course, um, when you have a, a hate crime, right? If you, if you don't show support for the victims, if you don't show that your community is not going to accept hate, uh, it can escalate. It can yeah. get worse. Um, not that you should only do this for this person or purpose, but um, you know, if if uh, criminals, hate criminals, go after one group of people because of who they are, and they feel emboldened, mm -hmm. they feel like nobody stops them. They may go after another group of people. They may go after another group of people and another, and right. then uh, you know, you are in a group of people. Yeah. Where does it stop? Well, and there's a lot of examples of groups who have uh, been violent and uh, even within their own group, they've said they've wanted to move further, more extreme. And those people who didn't want to go ex more extreme, they were pushed out and they were, you know, um, pushed to the side. And so it it is one of those things that you really want to, like you said, act, join forces and support yeah. the victim. Um, yeah. And I think one of the things that this program really uh, emphasizes is uh, like how you do that, you know, like like you were saying graffiti, yeah. like helping repaint over graffiti, even um, small ways of letting people know, you know, knock on that that shop owner's door and say, hey, I'm sorry that happened to you. Right. Right. You know, another some of the other examples are, you know, if there's um, <clears throat> maybe uh, somebody threw a brick through a window that has that has happened before as a hate crime. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe help clean up that glass. Uh, maybe even just as you're saying, like, you know, knocking on the door or a phone call to say, I support you or what can I do to help you? Right. Um, those are really simple ways uh, that anyone can do, really. And I, I speaking as a person who is pretty introverted, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe that's a new word to some of our audience. I'm an introvert is somebody who is not very outgoing. Maybe right. like, people you know, might be surprised to people. find that you and I are both, you know, we're here making videos for the world, but we're, we both yeah. are pretty, um, we like maybe one or two people in a room, not like a big party. Yes. Yeah. It's really hard to go out and do stuff. And so, um, I think, those sort of things are like maybe you can those sort of things sound kind of difficult to me as well but they are doable you know if you sending yeah. a sending a letter even like that's right. pretty good right uh right. it's something um but you know for those who are maybe more extroverted there are things to do as well right um and those are things that you can do yeah and the thing about um supporting the victim is you don't have to change the world it's just one right. little thing that you can do, right? It's not, I need yeah. to get rid of hate. That is that is too much. None of us can, yeah. can do well, that. Well, one of the, like... um, the story in this program follows um, Natasha Badwar. She wrote a, an article about why she, because she's part of this group um, called the Caravan of Love. Mm. It's in India. And for like a couple years now, they have been going to uh, remote villages. See, this mm. is something as an introvert would be very difficult for me, but I'm so thankful for these people like her and her group mm -hmm. uh, that go to these remote places. And they, um, there is a lot of, I think it's religious, like intolerance. And right. um, so there are a lot of victims in those, in that, in those villages. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and she, um, and her group go there and they provide support in a lot of ways, like physical support, mm. um, maybe just caring for somebody, but they also um, try to change 
the they use like audio and video materials and you know they do interviews and things like that to change the whole idea about hate crimes mm. in India which is such a like a huge thing to do That's so i'm also thankful goal. for those uh groups and those kinds of people that do work for that change um yeah, day day way. after day, because that's not a, something that happens quickly. It's something that no. it's going to take a long time, generations even, to to change right. behaviors. And um, yeah, I think it's um, it's normal. I have this, and I think one of the things. So if I can, like, I get scared that if I stand up and I say this isn't right, that right. either I'm going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. Or I'm going to lose, I'm, I'm, I wonder how people are going to see me. Right. Because I don't want to. It, it no, just no, being very brave. Nobody thinks that they're evil. Yeah. Right. Nobody, I, nobody is, nobody is going around saying like, I'm doing this really bad thing. People, everybody thinks that they're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Um. So how do you change? How do you. How do you have your your mind change to say, you know what, this isn't right? Um, and that's a hard question. And I and this is why I love. I I honestly think that this series of programs is one of the most valuable series uh, yep. that we can put out. I'm 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 proud, especially we, now. Especially now, and I mean, we kind of sadly joke that this program, uh, the idea for this program, and is a long time ago, and it will probably continue to be relevant for a long time to come. Because I don't think right. um, we're going to get rid of hate anytime soon. But um, right. Well, in this series, ten ways, ten ways that we're going to work in our communities, yeah, in big and little ways, to uh, to fight that. And uh, I would love to hear what our viewers think. Yeah, I like. Um, you know, is there a way that you have helped support victims of hate in your community? Is hate a big problem in your community? I know we ask these questions probably every time we have this conversation. Right. Um, but things change, right? There are a couple weeks between programs. And, um, you know, as we all know, the, the news cycle moves really quickly. Right. Um, and hate hasn't stopped yet. Right. So, and there are, there are a whole, there are individuals and groups all around the world who are really suffering. Yeah. And, um, you know, here at Spotlight, we're committed to uh, the value of all people. Yep. And uh, we want to fight hate in the little way that we can. I mean, I think yeah. Liz and I both feel strongly that, you know, we want our programs to be hopeful and uh, encouraging and to really highlight the differences and the diversity in the world. Um, and we and hope celebrate that, it. and celebrate it, and say, mm -hmm. you know what, everybody, uh, you, there are there are injustices in the world that if we have the opportunity to speak up against or to act against, we really feel like we should. Yeah, and I would I would love to hear how you're already doing that. Um, I'm sure that yes. our listeners um, are already doing that in some ways, and so I would love to hear not as a challenge, but you know, come on and brag to us about uh, yeah, what good you're doing know. in the world. I'd love to hear it. Um, and uh, yeah, make sure you check out the rest of the series. Stay tuned so that um, you can get the rest of the series when it comes in. We're going to be uh, releasing that over the next couple months. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss any of them at all. And click the little bell. Uh, what else am I missing? We got Facebook, yep. YouTube, um, and Twitter, check us out on that. The only uh, thing I, I think you've missed, and I don't know if we've said this in a while, is we really love you guys. We always yeah. say that you, you, people who listen to Spotlight are the best people on earth, and we really believe yes. that. <laughs> yeah, we do. We, uh, we are always talking about that and how much uh, we really just appreciate every single one of you. And um, yeah, yeah, we really appreciate you. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining in. Uh, and we will see you next time. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye.